Hello everybody, my name is C3B Awesome, and today I'm kind of going to hit you with a double upload today, if this comes out today, hopefully. And I'm going to be teaching you the best controller inputs for Mugen. And this might seem confusing, but I'm going to tell you why for a second. So, in Mugen, you have the chance to play any character you want, or that you could create. For people who don't know what Mugen is, go look it up. It is a good game, and I can't really explain it all in this video, as to not make it as long as the last one. But a common question has been, what are the best controller inputs for this game, considering that some characters take four buttons, some take three buttons, and the most up character could take is six buttons plus the taunt. So today, I'm going to be showing you exactly what you should be using and the, possibly the best config for this game. I'm going to be showing you on a PS4 controller and I'm going to be showing you here right now and I'm going to teach you all the configs really quickly. Are you ready? So just follow along with me. When you click config all, then on your controller go up, down, left, and right on your left or right joystick, whichever is better, and hear me out here. Link your A button to your X button. Link your B button to your circle button and link your C button to your right bumper. Then link your X button to your square button, your Y button to your triangle button, and your Z button to your left bumper. And then finally, put start as options. And now I'm gonna show you why these are the best. And we're gonna return to options. Let me show this off first with a six button character. I'll pick a random one like um, Kirito for instance. We'll pick Kirito for now. And we'll just test him out against Alice, cause why not? Alright, so as you can see, you can test it out. The controller feels really nice, you know what I mean? And now test out your buttons. Two of them are reserved for the quote unquote punch buttons. <laughs> These are square and triangle. And then the other two buttons are reserved for kicks. Or for kicks in a metaphorical sense. And then if you press the right bumper, it will be your heavy. And then your other bumper will be your other heavy. It will make um, making combos much easier. As you can see, it's much easier to do complicated inputs with all six buttons on a controller when you're using this. And of course, you can talk by pressing start. You know, so it works really well. Um, I should mention though, and I'm sure many people are wondering, what if you use a character that isn't six buttons? Well. Let me show you what happens if you try and do use a character that isn't six buttons. Let's take Rohan, for example, since I really like playing as him, and we'll have him fight Josuke, just as a test. If I can find him. Here he is. So now he tests out Rohan, comparing um, what buttons he uses. Of course, his um, bumper will now be his stand, and he'll have two of his attack buttons, and then his heavy will be on the left bumper. And of course, his um, side, 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 show up. And of course, his X won't do anything because he doesn't use X. This pattern will work with essentially every single character, and here's my mentality behind it. If you can only use two of the buttons, that's fine, but if you do want to do special stuff with a heavy button, that was all done by using the left bumper. It's extremely easy. It's fine, and see if I transition to the square. Or the triangle. So no matter how you play each character, it will all feel unique. 
And I know what many of you might be thinking, but how are we supposed to learn the character in this case? Well, you have to remember your inputs, you know? Just put in these same inputs every single time and you'll have the perfect game. The long and short of it is, no matter what character you use this on, you're gonna still need to learn them because each character in this game is different. It doesn't matter who you pick in order to play. I'll pick another random character uh, to just finish this up. Let's do a fourth rhyme character. Why not try Pyrus, for instance? Give me something, something. Fight from your grave. Because no matter who you pick, even if they don't use all three buttons, you'll remember that this button will be reserved for heavy attacks. And the reason why I say that these are the best is because this is something that Street Fighter actually does. It still uses a six button format, it just makes use of the bumpers, which is really unique. Actually, yeah, but as you can see, it works pretty darn well. Now, of course, every if you do want to not keep this version of the button layout and only use it for six button characters, that's also fine. But honestly, I think that this is the best potential layout that you could use for Mugen. This is the best. This is just in my opinion, though. Like, you can say whatever you want, and I'm sure that everybody has their own specified button layouts, but this one, to me, is the one that's most effective, especially for characters that use six buttons, you know? It's better to link them to something and something that's easy to use. This is what I've been using for a while and it's really useful. I hope that you enjoy this video. Please go check out my review of the PSP Toro no Majusuno Index game and I'll see you later. Bye bye.